So, today we're going to do a recipe called sobagaki, which uh, I guess translates to stirred soba. And I'd seen this in, like, somebody was eating it up in the mountains in Japan somewhere. So this is kind of like, um, like not all widely available throughout Japan, so it's like a, it's like a nice secret recipe, which is what we like. Um, essentially what you do is you take buckwheat flour with water and you cook it until it turns into a paste and then you take that paste and you form little balls with it and it forms dumplings. So with these um, soba dumplings, you can, I've seen people pan fry it and so that becomes like one type of recipe. Sometimes you take this mash and you just, you know, take little bits of it and you dip it into soy sauce and that's how some people eat it as well. Um, and then what I saw up in the mountains was they created this, um, essentially like this soup stock um, and they dropped the dumplings in. So it was very clean, it seemed very comforting as well. So that is what we are, our aims are for today. So, sorry, I'm using the other microphone today, so it's probably not as nice, but I didn't want to bring out the other one. All right, cool. Okay, so what I'm going to do first is one parts to three parts, so 100 grams of soba flour, buckwheat flour, and then 300, mls of water. I'm just going to mix that so that uh, there's no lumps first and then we'll put it onto the stove and I think it'll be easier that way. Just going to bring it to a boil, get it to thicken, and uh, yeah, then we'll, then we'll make some balls. it the less soft these will get and it really depends on the texture you're going for maybe. Um, I've seen some people cook this for quite a bit of time but I don't know how long. So you can see it is starting to thicken up. So I'm just going to turn the heat down a little bit and then Kind of mix carefully. Pretty much until it looks or starting to already um, mashed potatoes. Okay, so I've let it cool down ever so slightly, and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to cold water, I'm going to drop the dumplings in.
motion. All right, so now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna make the soup. So we have some decisions to make. I, this is really big, but I really liked, I like the brown and blue. These are my oval. They look circular, but they're actually oval. And I think that that'll fit the, the little dumplings better. My heart wants to go with this one. So <laughs> let us do that. We'll just fill it up, it's okay. <laughs> okay. See actually some of the, the soba has broken down a little bit. So, so the soup is not as clear as it once was, but I also think it probably has a thicker, a slightly thicker mouth feel, which might be nice, might be comforting. It's a lot of balls. <laughs> mm. We should probably try one of these. This bigger one. It's actually really soft. And it's picked up just a little bit of the, the soup flavor, which is nice too. Mm. Very simple, very clean. Maya, really soft. If anything, I probably want them even bouncier. So maybe I would cook them a little bit longer. looking buckwheat dumplings here very simple to make and yes definitely go and check out my other social media if you want to support the channel some more um, we have a patreon as well so yeah head on over there I put everything in the description box um, yep I will see you all again next time bye